We're now going to talk about the fifth position break. Julie and I will demonstrate what the step looks like first, and then we'll break it down individually. We're going to start the step preceded with a half a basic. One, two, three, four, and one. First fifth position, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. We're going to end it with a half a basic again. Four and one. Once again, from another angle. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. I'll now demonstrate the step by myself. Keep in mind the most important thing is the direction of each and every step. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, half a basic. Again, from another angle. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. I'm going to describe the foot directions. Step side, back, replace forward, side together, side, turn, step half, uh, step back, step forward, quarter turn, back to your partner, four and step side, quarter turn to the right, step back, replace forward, quarter turn to the left, back to the partner, side together, side, Quarter turn to the left again, back, replace forward, quarter turn to face the partner, side together, side. Ladies part, we're starting with half a basic. One, two, three, four, and one. On and, I will turn quarter turn, two, three, four, and one, and two three, four, and one, and two, three, and I will finish up with half a basic, four, and one. The foot positions is side on one, two, forward, three, replace, four, and one, chasse to the side, quarter turn, and the back step two, replace three, quarter turn, four, and one, chasse to the side. Quarter turn, step back, replace, quarter turn, chasse to the side, and the last one, quarter turn, step back, replace, quarter turn, finish it up with the chasse. Okay, now you'll notice Joya was using the word and to indicate a turn. So we're gonna do that again together and use that word end each time we want to turn. So we'll stop right as the turn happens. Half a basic. One, two, three, four, end. The fifth position actually starts here. We step side on one. We're using the end to turn. End, step back two, replace three. Here's another rotation. So we're counting it end, four, end, one, and rotate. Step back two, replace three, and four, and one, and step back two, replace three, and four, and we're back to our basic one. Now to lead that, one, two, three, four, and one on one, I create positive pressure forward here. So positive, turning her. Pushing in to lead her back. My right hand now pushes in to lead her forward. My left hand is now going to go negative to turn her. Negative back to positive. 
positive element four and one. Now again, I'm leading inward. By pushing inward, I turn her shoulders, creating that quarter of a turn. I'm gonna lead outward, back, inward, forward there, outward to turn her, side together, side. I'm back to positive. Keep it there, pushing in, pushing in, negative, four and one. Now remember, all of those connections happened very fast. So as we're explaining them, they're very slow right now, but with the timing, especially with the timing of the music, it will happen much faster. It's important to understand that with connections, you can step on a foot with one connection, and by the end of that very same step, it switches. So a very good exercise is to practice just standing still, having pressure at each other, and then away with almost nothing happening in the body. So positive, negative, positive, negative. So we don't actually have to see physical things happening in the body. It's much too quick for that. So from here, the fifth position itself, where we step side, we're positive, it instantly changes to negative, bringing her back, four and one. So those connections can quickly change from one to the other. If we don't change it and we keep that pressure, it gives the girl the feeling of continuing to go on back. We need to give her the feeling that the step stops and checks. So any step that has a quick direction change like that, which Chacha has quite often, we need to make sure we can master that idea of stopping the girl's body and redirecting her instantly. So again, as we step side, here we're positive. I use that to turn her. I keep it, and the second her foot hits the floor, I change the direction by changing my body direction. So it's going from back to forward. And if you remember early on in the video, we talked about always leading with the body first. So if we watch from the, from the back here, you can see my body going in the direction, body, then foot, body, then foot, body, foot. And by changing the direction of my body, I will change the direction of the connection. Body first, that creates the connection with the hand. From the side, body, 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 four and one. So use those counts that we talked about, the end count, to indicate a turn so you know exactly where in the beat that happens. End means we're splitting the previous beat. So in a cha-cha basic, when we count four end, one, it means we're splitting the four beat in half into two equal parts. Half, half, whole beat. Same thing would apply here when we step one end. Two, three, end. Four, end. One, end. Two, end. Three, end. Four, end. One. And again, it's very important that when somebody's watching the step, they can read the direction of each of those steps. So again, one of the common mistakes is one, two, three, where you can't really decipher if a step is to the side or it's a forward step. We want to make sure that direction is clear. Side, there's the turn. Clearly a back step. Now this isn't there, it's straight forward with the feet turned out. Rotate directly to the side, rotate back, replace forward, turn, four and one. And when the directions are that clear, it's much easier to read the step, both from somebody, a point of view of somebody watching and from your partner following. Keep the directions very, very clear. Bob, why don't you break down the turn using four counts we did in the beginning? Good idea. If you remember in the very beginning, we talked about the four actions that we have in a basic. One was the step, two was the turnout, three was the hip, four was the release. So using the numbers of the beats of music that we're counting, in other words, one, two, three, four, and one, we're going to apply those four actions, and we're going to count it like this. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to break down when the turn happens. So just the fifth position break itself is step on one, turn out two. On three, I'm going to turn Julia. Settle the hip on four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, turning on three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, turn four. So in using these four counts, we can be really, really specific within the beat where it happens, where the turn happens. So we're still working on that leg action that we talked about, stepping one, turn out two. We turn out that leg as much as possible. And then as we're pushing down on that leg, we turn three, release four. One, two, three, 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 four. This is the most accurate way to make sure we're working on both the leg action and the lead and follow. Do you think we're ready to do it with the music? Let's give it a try. Let's try it from a different angle. 